it's Ashley and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be answering one of your most commonly asked questions. This was sent by one of my group subscribers on my Facebook group. There's a link in the description box if you're looking for an awesome DIY group that has Cricut help. And if you haven't yet, check that out. Um, so her question was, when I'm working in design space and I have an image that has multiple different colors and a very specific layout, how do I make sure that it saves that layout once I'm ready to cut it out? This is just a tip to make sure that it's easier for you to arrange the items on the project that you're working on. So you don't have to worry about um, getting the space and the lining up of everything perfect. I'm going to show you how you can use the attach tool and the weld tool to make that happen. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos, and let's get to it. Okay, so we're doing a screen recording right now so that I can go over the um, difference between how you can make it, um, if you're going to go ahead and do this whole thing and you wanted to not have it show up in a bunch of different pieces, how can we make that faster? So if you took this design as is and you clicked make it, it would take you to the screen and it would show you all the pieces kind of randomly separated and, and put in there. So let's go back, we'll hit, click cancel. And how can you do this so that you have everything still aligned and you don't lose the shape that it's in? So I would take this whole design, right click on it and you can click duplicate or you can go up to the top right where it says duplicate and make another one. Just Pull this one out of the way, so I'm going to move this one out of the way, we're going to pretend that's not there. So we're going to this design here, we want to make sure that this stays in the exact same position. So what I'm going to do is remove this out of the way because we have two or three primary colors here. We have this gray, we have blue, and we have red. So we're going to move this one out of the way because we, we don't need that right now, in fact I can probably... Um, get rid of that one for the moment. So we're going to focus on just getting the blue one here. So we can remove that, move that and exit out, move this one and exit out. So it just leaves you the blue in exactly the right um, location. If you took this to the mat, it would still make it um, in the wrong location. It's showing you the two because I have two right now. So how do you keep them in the right location? You would draw a box around it go to the very bottom here where it says attach and attach tells the software hey we want this exactly where it's at right now we don't want to mess with it so now you have this and it's exactly where you want it we're going to move this out of the way and we're going to pull this oops i moved that one we're going to pull this whole design up so you click that we're going to click this one and move this out of the way so it is out of the way of what we're working on so we have this design here and um, right now it's you can group it or ungroup it we're going to move this out of the way we're going to keep that because we deleted the other one so that's staying out of the way and now we're worried about the red part of the design so we can take this get rid of that we can take this one get rid of that now we're left with the red heart exactly where it needs to be along with the word so we're going to draw a box around it go to the bottom and click attach and it will put it in the exact same position and if you want to make sure that it cuts it all in one piece you can go to weld and it will weld it all in that red color and then when you see on the side it'll say cut it shows cut this in this way in this position it does use a little bit more vinyl for that but um, it this is a handy trick if you're not confident about the location of where it's going to get placed this will put it in the right place for you so that way you can make sure it's lined up so that one is ready to go we can go to the bottom here and we know this one is already attached so we can go to the bottom and click weld again and then this is just a random piece. This one you're going to have to remember that it goes on the right side, but it should be easy to line up since we know where this one's lined up. So if we took these pieces, just for example, to make sure that they still work together, if we took these pieces and we put them together like that, we know it would work like that and like that. And then we can go to the mat and click make it. And it's going to show this one lone sad little heart here 
and it'll show all the blue pieces exactly where they need to be oriented and it'll show the red pieces exactly where they're oriented so you know that you can go ahead and cut them that way there will be some um, wasted vinyl in here but you can cut the vinyl um, when you take it off the mat and cut that into a section and remove that to save for another project and that way you're not wasting extra vinyl and then you just click continue and you can make it and it should um, keep everything in the right position for you Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you spending time with me today. If you'd like to learn more about Cricut or Dollar Tree related things, check out the playlist at the top of the cards and it'll lead you to an awesome playlist filled with different videos that walk you through step by step so that you can become a pro with Cricut and Design Space. Um, also, leave a comment below and let me know what type of videos you would like to see more of so that way I can make sure my content matches what you're looking for. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you guys later. Bye!